The coronavirus pandemic has widened the life expectancy gap between the US and other high-income countries, a new study shows, and experts say it could take decades to overcome. The US has experienced a massive decline in life expectancy in 2020 on a scale that hasn't been seen since World War II, said study author Dr. Stephen Wolfe, Director Emeritus of the Center on Society and Health at Virginia Commonwealth University in Richmond. That's pretty stunning and it was not experienced on that scale by other countries. We had been making progress for some years narrowing the black-white mortality gap. That entire progress got erased in 2020, Wolf said. In the Latinx population, there's a well-known advantage the community has higher life expectancy, and that advantage was almost completely erased by the pandemic. The study included 16 countries in its analysis, Austria, Belgium, Denmark, Finland, France, Israel, Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, South Korea, Portugal, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Taiwan, and the United Kingdom. Countries normally included in these types of analyses, such as Germany, Italy, Australia, Japan, and Canada, were missing from the study, said Jessica Ho, assistant professor of gerontology, sociology, and spatial sciences at the University of Southern California, who was unaffiliated with the study. Canada is a particularly important data point, Ho said, as it has similar demographics, including indigenous populations, a shared border with the US and multiple surges of coronavirus cases. But she said including these countries in the study wouldn't have significantly changed its results, as the US public health system was in bad shape long before the pandemic. Going in, we already expected the US was going to be hit quite harder but the question was how much does it put us back, Ho said. A country's life expectancy is shaped by its health care system, personal health behaviors, social and economic factors, physical and social environment, and public policies. Even if the US fixed all these problems overnight, Ho said it would still take decades to catch up to other high-income countries. If we do everything perfectly, we can increase life expectancy 2.5 years every decade, she said. Fairly unhealthy people died during COVID whereas they might have died in 2022 or 2023 or 2024, she said, noting the setback from COVID-19 may not be permanent and that the country may bounce back. But Wolf said a quick recovery isn't guaranteed, as Americans continue to deal with the health and economic ramifications of COVID-19. The systemic factors that led to this catastrophe are the same systemic factors that caused the US to fall behind other countries for many years, he said. And if they continue to persist, we'll see the life of Americans continue to deteriorate compared to life in other countries. Follow Adriana Rodriguez on Twitter, at AdrianaUSAT.